Introduction to Algebra In this module, you will learn about Algebra. Algebra is the use of letters or alphabet to represent numbers. Letter can represent any number, not just a particular number. It may stand for an unknown quantity. Algebra is great fun as we get to solve puzzles. Let us learn about pattern making rules. Let's make L pattern by using matchsticks. First, let us try to make letter L by using two matchsticks. Now, to make one L pattern, we need two matchsticks. Then, how many matchsticks will be required to make four L's? Let's continue forming the patterns with 1L, 2Ls, 3Ls and 4Ls with the help of matchsticks. Now, let's note down the number of matchsticks used in each row to make the L pattern. First, let us do the counting of matchsticks and put the number of matchsticks used in the table accordingly. Can you see the relationship between the number of L's and number of matchsticks used? While mentioning the number in the table, we can see that the number of matchsticks required is twice the number of L's formed. Number of matchsticks required is equal to two times the number of L's. For instance, let's take letter M for the number of L's. Let's assume one L as M1, two L's as M2, three L's as M3 and 4Ls as M4. Hence, M is an example of variable and can be 1 or 2 or 3 and so on. It can be any natural number. We then write number of matchsticks required is equal to 2 times M or 2M. Instead of writing 2 times M, we can write 2M. Note that 2M is same as 2 times m. Thus, for m is equal to 1, the number of matchsticks required is equal to 2 times 1 equal to 2. For m is equal to 2, the number of matchsticks required is equal to 2 times 2 equal to 4. For m is equal to 3, the number of matchsticks required is equal to 2 times 3 equal to 6. For m is equal to 4, the number of matchsticks required is equal to 2 times 4 equal to 8. Hence, these numbers agree with those from the table. Such an expression which contains a number and a letter is called algebraic expression. Now can you tell me how many matchsticks will be required to form 110 L's? Using the expression 2 times L, the number of matchsticks required to make a pattern of 110 L's will be 2 times 110, which is equal to 220 matchsticks. Let us try to make a triangle using matchsticks and also prepare a table accordingly. To make a triangle, three matchsticks are used. If we want to make two triangles, then we need six matchsticks. And for three triangles, we need nine matchsticks. Now, can you tell what will be the rule for the numbers of triangles formed and the matchsticks needed? As we learned in the previous activity, the rule is number of matchsticks required is equal to three times the number of triangles to be formed. For one triangle, the number of matchsticks required is equal to three times one equal to 3. For two triangles, the number of matchsticks required is equal to 3 times 2, equal to 6. For three triangles, the number of matchsticks required is equal to 3 times 3, equal to 9. Let's also make a square pattern by using matchsticks and also make a table to note down the number of squares and number of matchsticks required in each pattern. In the first row, let's place one square. 
Can you count the matchsticks required to form a pattern? We can see that four matchsticks are required to form a square pattern. Let us place two squares in the second row. Eight matchsticks are required for two squares. What will be the count of three squares placed in the third row? We can see that for three squares, we need 12 matchsticks. Using the rule, we can observe in the square pattern that the number of matchsticks required is equal to four times the number of squares to be formed. For instance, for one square, the number of matchsticks required is equal to 4 times 1, equal to 4. For two squares, the number of matchsticks required is equal to 4 times 2, equal to 8. For three squares, the number of matchsticks required is equal to 4 times 3, equal to 12. Have a look on this pattern. Here, we use matchsticks to make the pattern of H. Let's make a table to note down the number of H in each pattern. Next, the number of matchsticks required to form the H pattern. Let us place one H in the first row. We can see that three matchsticks are required to make the pattern H. Three is the sum of two and one, which can also be written as two times one plus one. Now, in the second column, there are 2H. Did you notice that in this pattern, one matchstick is common in between the 2H? Hence, five matchsticks are required in all to make a pattern of 2H. 5 is the sum of 4 and 1, which can also be written as 2 times 2 plus 1. Likewise, in the third column, there are 3Hs. Seven matchsticks are required in all to make a pattern of 3H. Seven is the sum of 6 and 1, which can also be written as 2 times 3 plus 1. Hence, here we can see that the number of matchsticks required is equal to 2 times number of H plus 1. In arithmetic, we have come across expression like 6 plus 2. 3 minus 2, etc. These are all formed using numbers. We have used letter M to show a variable to form a pattern L. Let us now consider variables in a more familiar situation. Students went to buy drawing books from the bookstore. Price of one notebook is rupees 10. Sheena wants to buy four notebooks. Rahul wants to buy five notebooks. And Kimmy wants to buy three notebooks. How much money should a student carry when she or he goes to the bookstore to buy notebooks? This will depend on how many notebooks the student wants to buy. The students work together to prepare a table. The letter N stands for the number of notebooks a student wants to buy. N is a variable which can take any value 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. The total cost of N notebooks is given by the rule. The total cost in rupees is equal to 10 times number of notebooks required is equal to 10 times N, which is equal to 10N. If Sheena wants to buy 4 notebooks, then taking N is equal to 4, then Sheena should carry rupees 10 times 4 or rupees 40 with her. To the bookstore. Similarly, we get to know how much money should Rahul and Kimi carry when she or he goes to the bookstore to buy notebooks. In all the examples seen so far, the variable was multiplied by a number. There can be different situations as well, in which numbers are added to or subtracted from the variable. Let us take a simple real world example. Jai has 8 books more than Rima. Can you find how many books does Rima have? Here we do not know the number of books that Rima has. We may proceed by supposing number of books with Rima. Suppose the number of books with Rima is 15. Then the number of books with Jai would be 15 plus 8 equal to 23. 
If the number of books with Rima is 20, then the number of books with Jai would be 20 plus 8 equal to 28. Now let us assume the number of books with Rima as Y. The number of books with Jai would be Y plus 8. This Y plus 8 is known as expression with variable Y. The letter in this case Y just means we don't know this yet and is often called the unknown or the variable. The expression y plus 8 cannot be simplified further. Do not confuse y plus 8 with 8y. They are different. In 8y, y is multiplied by 8. In y plus 8, 8 is added to y. We may check this for some values of y. For example, if y is equal to 3, 10y is equal to 10 into 3 equal to 30 and y plus 10 is equal to 3 plus 10 equal to 13. If y is equal to 10, 10y is equal to 10 into 10 equal to 100 and y plus 10 is equal to 10 plus 10 equal to 20. A variable is a symbol used to represent a number in an expression or an equation. We can use any letter such as M, L, P, X, Y, Z, etc. to show a variable. Also, a variable is a number which does not have a fixed value. It can vary. Let us solve one more example. Rahul was asked to bring balloons at a birthday party. He arrived in the party with 18 balloons. On the way to the birthday party, seven balloons got blown away. So, how many balloons did Raul have in the beginning? Algebra helps us arrive an answer by using variable. Let us see how. Let us denote this unknown number of balloon with an alphabet X. Now, X gets reduced by seven since seven balloons were blown away. Let us write this down as x minus 7. After this happened, Rahul was left with 18 balloons. So, x minus 7 is equal to 18. What we have here is an equation with one unknown number. Using a bit of mathematical magic, we can now say x is equal to 18 plus 7. Let us revise all that we learned in the module on Introduction to Algebra.